If you're a master's student and you want visa sponsorship after you must have completed your studies, watch this video till the end. I'll be giving you four opportunities to work in the NHS. I'm going to be giving you reasons why you should work in the NHS. You don't need to be a doctor, a nurse, or a caregiver to work in the NHS. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Cynthia. I share information that will help your transition into the UK to be as smooth as possible. Hit on the like button, subscribe, share this video with your family and friends. Let's get into this video. The first one is NHS Job Fest. It's a great opportunity for you to interact with employers. Make sure you go with your CV. I'll put a list of these job fairs on the screen so that you can identify the date and time and location in your city. If you miss that for your city, don't worry about it. You can always go to another city to meet with employers. Please do not miss this great opportunity. Like I said, NHS job fairs, the job opportunities are not just for doctors, nurses, or caregivers. There are jobs for data analysts. There are jobs for people in engineering. There are jobs for people in different roles of life. There are job opportunities that you might not have heard of, but you fit perfectly into those roles, maybe based on your undergrad degree, as well as your job experience in your home country. And your master's could qualify you for some of these job opportunities. The second one is NHS graduate scheme. If you want to assess this, go to graduates.nhs.uk or you can Google it. It's very easy to assess. It opens on the 25th of September, 2023. They give you the opportunity to develop into a future leader in general management, human resources, finance, policy and strategy, data informatics, and health analysis. You don't want to miss this opportunity. The third opportunity is NHS working interview jobs or in-person recruitment events. On their website, they said in-person recruitment events removes entry barriers created by application forms and encourages a wide diversity of applicants to apply for one of our roles. So they said individuals are given the opportunity to interview on the day of the event. So you have to prepare yourself adequately for such an event. The most common one is support worker, but there are also other roles that they need somebody urgently. Just be on the lookout and keep searching the internet from time to time so that you don't miss such opportunities. The fourth opportunity is NHS job sites. It's very easy to go through. Just Google it and go to the job site. There are job opportunities there that you need to apply for. Just don't restrict yourself. You might not know that you have some skills that can fit into some of these roles. Don't think, oh, this job sounds strange. I might not be eligible to apply, go to the job description. When you look at the job description, if there's something that is confusing to you, try and Google it. You might find out that, wow, I actually fit into this role. It actually suits me. So do not miss this opportunity. I know that many large families prefer to choose a job under the health and care visa route because they want, don't want to pay for the IHS. IHS fees are, is so expensive right now, especially if you have a family of four, five, six, it can be very challenging for you to raise those funds in order to switch to a skilled worker visa after you must have completed your studies. But I want to let you know that there are opportunities for you to work in the NHS and some of your IHS fee might be refunded. I'm going to be giving you five reasons why you should work in the NHS or other healthcare trusts. The first one is IHS fees refund. I know someone who worked as a receptionist in a GP trust. You know you have GP surgery practices everywhere. You know those people that work as receptionists that take your data and your information to be able to book an appointment for you. She worked there and guess what? Her IHS fees were refunded after six months, though what was refunded was 50%, but she stands the opportunity to get full refund after 12 months working in such an establishment. So you must not be a doctor, a nurse, or a caregiver to get, have your IHS fees refunded if, as a student, you work in the NHS or other healthcare trusts. It's very important that you explore this opportunity. The second reason is because there are many job opportunities in the NHS or other healthcare trusts. Now, like your GP surgery, there are job roles that you might not have heard, but you fit perfectly in. For example, is office manager, which is in 
the scheduled age occupations list, which means you'll be paying reduced visa fees for that role if you're transitioning from student visa to that role in a skilled worker visa. For those of you who are in life sciences or biosciences, or maybe molecular microbiology or biotechnology, there are many job opportunities for you in the NHS. An example is healthcare informatics or healthcare analysis, healthcare scientists in genomics, or work as an, a bioinformatician in the NHS. If you studied biotechnology or molecular microbiology or molecular biology, the third reason is because every city has NHS Trust or other healthcare organizations. So you can explore this opportunity. There are hundreds of GP surgeries in every city. There is a big hospital in every city. Most GP surgeries are not controlled by NHS. They are controlled by other, you know, companies. So these opportunities are everywhere. You can walk into those GP surgeries and ask them if they have job vacancies. Don't be afraid. And there are thousands of roles that you can explore and find out whether you fit in in those roles. So do not lose that opportunity to explore this option. The fourth reason is because NHS is one of the largest organizations in the UK and so they have the opportunity to give you child care. Many big hospitals in the UK have child care facilities where you can keep your child and then go to work then when you're done working you can pick your child up my friend used that option she's a medical doctor and she used that option and she told me that such an opportunity is open to any other person not just because she's a doctor any other role in the hospital so this is something you can explore because you know that child care is a major problem in the uk Another reason why you should be working for the NHS is because the NHS gives subsidized training, free training most times when you work for them. So they give you an opportunity to grow and move from one band to the other if you meet the qualifications and when they complete an assessment on your work. So there's growth is a very good thing, you know, when you're pursuing a career, you don't want to be stagnant. And those training opportunities, which maybe if you are on a private practice, they might charge you for it. And it might be very expensive, maybe 600 pounds or 300 pounds or 400 pounds. But with those training opportunities that are free, it saves you a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to share this information with you. If you're coming in to the UK newly, or maybe you are looking for a job, these opportunities are available for you. So do not, you know, take them for granted. I wish you the best. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.